This video will explain the Fund RevX Report, Revenue and Expenditure Report by Fund Special Cost Center. The Fund RevX Report is a unique report because it contains a summarized report of both expenditure and received amounts, as well as fiscal year to date budgeted and receivable amounts per fund. So if you have access to specific cash accounts, this may prove to be a very worthwhile report for you. In our example here, the Drama Club Advisor has a Fund RevX report. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link, which will pull it up in PDF format. And the first thing you're going to see is it's going to show the current month that you're in. So we're in April, so it's going to show a date range of April 1st through April 30th. And it will provide the month-to-date activity for April, as well as budgeted figures, for the fiscal year and fiscal year to date activity. So for the drama fund, what we're first going to look at is what is the fund balance at the beginning of the period. So the beginning of April, there was $21,153.30. That was the beginning balance for the month of April for this fund. For the beginning of the fiscal year, which was back in July, the amount was 16229.12. The next set of information is the revenue data. So the first thing we're going to see are all the different revenue accounts listed by their descriptions. So for the month of April, it looks like there was only $250 receded into the donations revenue account. And then the total revenue then for the month was $250. What you're also going to see is some very useful information. It's also going to provide the annual budgeted amount, what you anticipate on receiving for each of these revenue accounts. So for example, Dramatics, the Admissions Dramatics revenue account, plan on receiving $6,000. In the donations revenue account, we plan on receding in $1,000. So these are our receivable figures. So the total receivable amount for the year is $9,450. Our fiscal year to date activity so far, for the fiscal year in this donations revenue account is $1,276.30. So for the month, we've received in 250, but for the fiscal year, so far since July 1st, we have received in $1,276. The total revenue received in since the beginning of the fiscal year for this cash account is $8,524.09. Then it moves on and goes into the expenditure side of things for this cash account. And what it's going to do is it's going to be broken down by personnel, purchased services, supplies and materials, capital outlay, and miscellaneous. So if we bypass the personnel because we don't see anything for that one, we'll go to the purchased services. And you'll notice that so far for the month of April, $100 has been expended out of the hired musician and set construction budget account. So again, these descriptions here are all the budget account descriptions underneath this cash account. Here are the expendable, what we anticipate on spending out of these accounts for the fiscal year. And then here again is our fiscal year to date expenditures, what we actually have spent so far since July 1st out of each of these budget accounts. If I scroll back up a little bit, so you can see the column headers up here. You'll also see encumbered amounts that are sitting out there right now. So these are POs that are outstanding for these particular budget accounts and then the unencumbered balance. So if I go down and look at each of these sections here, total purchase services, total supplies and materials, total capital outlay, keep going until I get to the total expenditure line. Here are our totals for the expenditures. 
like I said, for the month of April, it looks like we just had $100 and that was out of purchased services. Our annual budget, these are our expendable amounts, is $13,000 for all the budget accounts underneath this cash account. So far we have expended $3,449.91 for the fiscal year and we have an outstanding encumbered amount of $2,256 to give us an unencumbered balance of $7,294.09. So again, if you're taking your $13,000 of what you plan on spending minus what you actually have spent minus what you have encumbered so far, this will give you your unencumbered balance total. So at this point then, the next line is showing you whether you had an increase or a decrease for the period. So for the month of April, we had receded in $250 and we expended $100. So we actually have an increase for this time period of $150. So if I scroll all the way back up, to what my beginning balance was for the month of April, at the beginning of April, it was $21,153.30 for this cash account. At the end of April, if I take that plus the $150 increase, I now have a fund balance at the end of April of $21,303.30. Now I can do the same thing with my fiscal to date activity if I wanted to. At the beginning of the fiscal year, July 1st, I had a $16,229.12 balance. So far for the fiscal year, I've received in $8,524.09. And I have expended $3,449.91 to give me an increase of $5,074.18. So I take my beginning balance plus what I receded minus what I expended to give me a fiscal year to date balance of $21,303.30. These two figures should match what you have at the end of April and at the end of the current period which would be the same thing, those two figures should equal each other. And so for the fiscal year, I've got $2,256 of outstanding encumbrances to give me a true unencumbered cash balance. What I have left to spend out of that cash account, $19,047.30.